start straight line on our backs. Widen the feet apart, turn the toes in, and let the knees rest against each other. Extend the arms diagonally out to the side and roll those front shoulders back so that the chest is opening as we rest here. The back of the neck long, the front throat soft, and then closing the eyes. Slowing the breath down, taking the time to count the breath so that we begin to experience evenness and seamlessness. The inhale mirroring the exhale, the exhale mirroring the inhale. Relaxing into that. And then lifting the hands, folding the palms together in front of the chest. Then greeting this practice with the sacred sound of all. Inhale. releasing and the eyes opening and coming straight into Dvi Para Sutta Padanamutasa. Line the inner knees up, line the inner feet up. Relax the shoulders. And now keeping the right knee where it is, extend the left leg, finding Ikkapada Sutta Pavanukasa. Keeping that left leg rolled in, the front thigh pressing down. And then changing sides, Igapada on the left hand side. Roll that right thigh in, press the heel down, press the front thigh down, and draw the left leg closer. The abdomen soft, the shoulders relaxing. And then back to Tvi Pada Sutta Pavanukasa. Keep using the exhale to pacify the abdomen. The lower back resting on the mat. The front groin is getting softer. And then releasing the feet to the mat and stretching the legs straight, lining the inner feet up, pressing the heels down, lifting the arms up, crossing the thumbs, long vertical stretch. Keep pressing those heels down firmly so that the heels are pulling the buttocks towards them. And keep stretching the arms in the opposite direction, stretching the waist, stretching the ribs. And then release the arms, release the legs and relax completely.
And now re-roll those legs in. Charge them again, make them firm. Cross the thumbs again, re-stretch the arms. Long vertical stretch. Lift your right heel slightly off the mat and move it even further away. Then press the heel down and pull the right buttock towards the heel. And now the left leg, lift the left heel up slightly, lengthen it away, press it down into the mat and pull the left buttock down to the left heel. Then re-stretch the arms. And then exhale, release the hands and release the legs completely. And now go ahead and bend the knees. Bring the arms to the side of the body and with the hands hold the mat firmly. Bring the feet together, connect the lower back to the mat. Uva plus Kavarasana with a little extra lift. So first of all, go ahead and extend the legs to 90 degrees. Keep the lower back firmly pressing down, the legs straight, the toes pulling back, and down through 60 to 30, and up to 90, and lift. And again, 60 and 30, and 60 and 90, lift. And again, lift. Three more. Lift, two more, lift, and one more, lift, and bend the knees, and bring the feet to the floor. Straighten the legs again, roll the thighs in, inner feet touching, stretch the arms up, cross the thumbs, long vertical stretch. Make sure that the heels are pressing down and they're pulling the buttocks towards the heels. Re-stretch those arms. Stretch the waist. And then release the cross of the thumbs, relax the arms and let the legs roll in. And again, roll the thighs in, charge the legs again, cross your thumbs, stretch the arms, stretch the legs with your heels, pull the buttocks towards the heels, long vertical stretch. And then exhale and relax the legs and relax the arms completely. Bend the knees. And this time let's try and keep our arms above us. Cross the thumbs, stretch the arms, bring the feet together. The lower back pressing into the mat. Bring the feet off. 90 degrees. And ready through 60 and 30, 60 and 90. And lift. And again, 60, 30, 60, 90, lift. 60, 30, 60, 90, lift. 60, 30, 60, 90, lift. Two more. Lift. Last one. Lift. And exhale, releasing, bending the knees, and relax completely. Right now, I'm going to move, and we use the long edge of the mat for our japa kribathasan. So the shoulders lining up for the long edge. The hands gripping the mat, pulling away. Bend the knees, but in variation two. So we want the calves to touch the back of the thighs, and we want the legs to come in close to us. Our knees are going from elbow to elbow. So that means they need to really go up high, not like this down low, that's not the elbow, but up high. 
All right, are we ready? We'll be bringing the legs to the left first. So then we're twisting to the right, and then we'll bring the legs up and bring the legs to the right, so we're twisting to the left. Here we go. Legs to the left, twist to the right. And back up. Changing sides. And back up. Changing sides. Up. Twisting to the left. Back up. Twisting to the right. Back up. And twisting to the left. We've got three more sets. Knees to the left, twisting to the right. Changing. Keep gripping on that. Two more sets. Changing. Last one. Knees to the left, elbow, twist to the right. Back up. And knees to the right, elbow, twisting to the left. Back up. And exhale, release, and feet to the floor. And turn around, take up the whole mat. And find Dvipara Supa Avanamukasa. Relax the shoulders. Relax the abdomen. And Ikkapada Sutta Pavanukasa. Extend that left leg straight, roll it in. The toes are facing the sky, the heel is pressing down. And changing sides, left hand side. And one last Dvi Parasutta Pavanukasa. Lining the feet up, lining the legs up. And releasing the feet to the floor. Okay, we're rolling over, coming up. Let's now move our mat in towards the wall and grab a strap and meet for some sutta parabhushasa. From sutta parasam, we have a little loop in our strap and coming to sutta parabhushasa number one. Sliding the arms down the strap. So we refine the arms of our long vertical stretch, the openness of the armpits, the stretching of the waist. And then see if we can bring this right leg closer. And then releasing, removing the strap, Sutta Tadasan, and changing sides. Sutta Tadasan 1, let's go a little twist here. There we go. Opening the backs of the knees. Stretching both waists evenly. And then see if we can draw the leg closer.
And then bring the leg back up. And release. Sutta Tadasana. And then go ahead and bring the right leg up. Place the loop on the foot. Exhale a strap going underneath the shoulder blades. And let's come to lateral Sutta Parangushasana. Keep the legs firm. In other words, grip those muscles around the leg bones. And then bring the leg back up and releasing Sutta Tadasana. Of course, changing sides, lateral on the left hand side, entering, straightening those legs completely, wrapping the muscles around the bones, firmness. The softness in the face, softness in the throat. And then bring the leg back up and releasing Sutta Tanasa. Paradivrita Sutta Tanasa. So lifting the right leg up. Strap coming underneath the back from the left to the right. And draw the leg towards you and across, towards you and across, towards you and across. And then turn the abdomen to the right, the head to the right, twisting away from the leg. And then bringing the leg back up and release. Sutta Tanasa. Changing sides, left leg lifting, strap on the foot. So the strap now comes underneath the back from the right to the left. Make sure the legs are straight and firm. Draw the leg towards you and across. Towards you and across. Parivrita Sutta Paramustasa. And now twist the abdomen away from that foot. Turn the head to the left. And then bring the leg back up and exhale and releasing Sutta Tadasa. And now rolling over and coming back up, we're going to move our mat away from the wall again and grab a block for some Upevishakarasans and twisting Upevishakarasans.
Serving here nice, widely, widening our buttocks apart. The heels pressing down, the knees up, press the front thighs down. And then taking your block and bringing it right up to the pubic bone so that it's holding the pubic bone up, keeping it perpendicular to the earth. As we come forward to our yoga mudrasa. So don't let that pubic bone drop forward against the block. Let the block remind you to pull the pubic bone up so it keeps that perpendicularity intact as we come forward. And then coming back up. And then just moving back a little bit, because I think when I come forward, I might be off the camera a little bit. Okay, we're turning and twisting to the right. So reaching for the outside edge of the foot and twisting and turning. And the pubic bone still staying perpendicular. And then coming back up. And now twisting and turning to the left, reaching to the outside edge of that foot. And the pubic bone still staying perpendicular. And then coming up, making sure that block is still in, reminding the pubic bone of its action. Now turning to the right, and this time a both hands coming, reaching for the foot, and putting ourselves forward. But even though we're coming forward over the leg, we're still re-engaging that twistingness in the organic body. So the organs twisting to the right as we come forward. And emerging, we engage the pubic bone and to the left, reaching forward, holding the inner foot, the outer foot, and pulling ourselves forward, drawing the femur bone into the hip socket. And that subtle twisting is still taking place in the organic body, the organs twisting to the left. And then coming out. And we're going to come into yoga mudrasana one more time to draw this break in. Make sure the pubic bone is perpendicular. Grip the leg muscles. Coming forward. Yoga mudrasana.
And then coming back up. And moving the block, lying back down. One last little stretch before Shabbasana. So it's called the star stretch. So go ahead and widen your feet so that each heel connects with each corner of the mat. Roll the thighs in so they're active, the toes facing up, the heels down. And then similar action with the arms, each arm connecting with the corner of the mat. So we're making a star shape with the body. And now stretch the left leg and stretch the right arm. That's it, keep stretching the left leg, stretching the right arm. And now let's stretch the right leg and the left arm. And now let's stretch both legs and both arms in that star shape. And then release the legs, let them roll open. And bring the arms down, just with your hands, take your buttocks and move your buttocks towards your heels, ensuring that the lower back is as close to the earth as possible. And as that, just extend the arms diagonally out to the side, the shoulders rolling back, and we are all set up for a gentle Shavasana, allowing all of this work to settle Last restingness, last releasingness, closing the eyes, exhaling into that letting go ness of Shavasana.
and then slightly coming to rest on the abdomen. The eyes gently open. Rolling over onto the right hand side. And then just pushing ourselves gently up. And taking a final seat. Loka Samastaha Sukino Parad. Om Shanti Shanti. May the universe know love, may the universe know peace. And may we have all those that we come into contact with to feel the same. All peace. And then the hands racing. Your eyes opening back up. And our practice is complete. A wonderful day, a wonderful evening. Take good care. Hope to see you again soon.